Oh, welcome to our battery storage center on SV Panda. So first we'll start with the heart of the energy system, which is our 12 volt battery bank. Originally the boat came with a typical like lead acid setup. Um, pretty big, pretty heavy, pretty beefy. Uh, those were located in the engine room, but we had some other plans for the boat. So what we ended up doing is researching the best lithium ion batteries and we went with Battleborne batteries. And these battery banks, uh, the batteries here come in 100 amp uh, kind of sections. So we bought five of them and we have them connected in parallel. So we have a total of 500 amp hours of lithium battery and that's 500 amp hours usable. So then from the heart of that 500 amp hour 12 volt uh, battery system, we have our Victron Multi Plus Inverter. Uh, this boat is a European boat, so we went with the 230 volt inverter. So that takes the energy from the 12 volt batteries and uh, bumps it up to 230 volt uh, uh, alternating current instead of your, your direct current. I just used one switch to control the on off of this whole house bank. So we have a uh, switch here. This is a Blue Sea system switch. They make all kinds of different switches, but this was simple. We only have three positions. We have an off, which turns both our starter battery and our house bank off, or on, which turns both the starter battery and the house bank on, or let's say one of the banks is dead, most likely your starter battery. I can turn this to kind of emergency reserve combined mode that combines both battery packs all into one. The other component that we have mounted in here is our solar panel controller. So this is the charge controller uh, from our big solar panels that we have mounted on the back of our boat. We have two LG 360 watt panels and those come into a Victron MPPT 150-60 amp controller. Uh, so that's the one of the nicer controllers on the market you can get. Um, the reason we just stuck with all Victron, and the reason I really like this is I can do everything from an i from a from a phone app. So it's all like Android or iPhone-based apps. I can program all of the charge settings uh, from that app, and you can also see the, the current sources, all kinds of stuff you can see from the app. If you'd like all that information in a schematic, I'm gonna draw out what our energy system is on our boat. DC, which consists of a big battery bank that we've shown. This is 500 amp hours at 12 volts DC. And then we have our AC system, which is powered from our DC system. And this is our multi plus <clears throat> inverter. That's three kilowatt power, and that's 230 volt AC. Now we'll talk about all the, the draws that we have on our system. One obviously is small things like lights. We have other draws like our navigation system and our um, autopilot. Then we have other draws like our fridge. Probably our largest consistent draw would be the refrigerator box. And then on the AC side, some of the draws we have uh, is our stove. That's our induction cooktop. Again, we're completely electric cooking here on, on Panda Boat, so we have a lot of draws here on the AC. So we have our stove, and then our uh, oven microwave combo. We also have our dive compressor. And then we'll have smaller draws, things like laptops, and smaller appliances, but that's not too much in our total. And let's talk about how much each thing uses, and then we'll talk about our energy in. On our stove and oven assemb uh, combination, we use about 600 watt hours per meal. 
So that comes out to about 10% of our battery capacity. Our dive compressor would be the next largest thing, though the dive compressor we don't obviously use every day. That's only when we're in a place where we're doing lots of diving. But for those who are interested, our dive compressor uses about 800 watt hours per tank. And typically we'll have two tanks, or we'll dive with two tanks. So one dive for each of us takes about 16 watt hours or 1.6 kilowatt hours to fill. Last is the laptops. That is very minimal. I won't even write it down on our, on our daily usage. We have three main energy sources coming into or charging our battery bank directly. Those sources are, let's start with small to large. So small, we have a hydro generator. That only works when we're sailing. It's powered off the prop shaft. And when it's powered, I'll say it averages about 120 watts. So it's minor, but anything can help. Next is we have a we have two solar arrays and our smaller one is a 10 amp controller and we generate about 400 watts watt hours average a day. Our last system, our larger solar setup is a 60 amp Victron controller and there we average about 3.4 kilowatts a day. Average is about 3.8 kilowatts, kilowatt hours uh, intake sitting on anchor. And then our max that we've gotten uh, is 4.75 kilowatt hours. That was a very good sunny day, no shading and uh, yeah, a lot of intake on the, the batteries. Daily usage between for two to like four crew members, cooking meals, sitting at anchor, working on laptops, maybe diving a little bit, average about 1.5 kilowatt hours per day. As you can see, our usage is far less than even our average solar input. 1.5 kilowatt hour usage to 3.8. Under passage, we use even less, maybe one kilowatt hour. And that's simply because we're not cooking, so we don't have large cooking loads. And when we're under passage, we only have our navigation and our autopilot. Our autopilot's gonna be the biggest draw as that system is electronic. So what I didn't draw in here is our engine battery, our start battery, is 100 amp hour. It's a lead acid. It's also at 12 volts. And that's a completely separate battery. And that is only for our diesel engine. So that only starts and stops our engine. On the engine itself, there is a an alternator. And that alternator only charges this start battery. So this is a closed loop. We don't have any interaction between our lead acid bank and our lithium ion bank. Our only interaction between these two systems is when we need to connect them and that is extremely rare. That would be through the switch and we can connect them directly if needed but most of the time they are completely separate systems. I'm happy to answer any questions that you all might have if you're uh, taking on a similar project. So just leave comments in the video below. I'd be happy to answer them and uh, pass my knowledge back on to you guys for the things I learned.